Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this particle disintegration effect in After Effects. You can use it for any logo or text however you want. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition and I'm going to call this one main. With the night 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our logo or text. Let's call this one media and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's open up the media comp and we are going to add our text or logo, whatever you have on, into this comp. So first I'm going to add the text. So select the text tool and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type displace and I'm using this Montserrat black font, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. Let's align it to the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. So here we have our text. Once you're done with this, we can go back to main composition and let's drag the media, which we just created. Now in order to add the disintegration effect, we are going to search for shatter and let's drag it onto this. Now we will change a couple of these settings. So first I'm going to change the view from wide frame to render something like this. So now if I play, you can see that our logo is being or our text is being shattered. Now we're going to change a couple of these settings. So first let's go under the shape and from here I'm going to change the pattern from brick to you can see that there are a bunch of different ones. You can pick whatever you want. I'm going to select the class one. Now we have this option for repetition. Now this will define number of particles you have. So I'm going to set this to max, which is 200. So let's set this to 200, something like this. Now we have this option for origin. Now this does not affect anything much so you can just place it wherever you want so i'm going to just leave it at the center so we have this option for extrusion depth so you can see that all these particles have little bit of depth and if you don't want this then you can just set this value to zero but if you want it then you can just leave it to whatever you want i'm going to set this to zero so here we have our text. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. Now let's go and open up physics and under here we are going to just change the gravity. So I'm going to set this to zero because we want the forces to act upon it and rotation speed you can just increase it little bit. Turbulent axis, you can just set it around whatever axis you want, or you can just set this to free. I'm going to set this to X and Z and rest of things will remain same. Let's go under the lighting and under here, I'm going to just change the ambient lighting to one so that we don't have any kind of lighting in our scene. Now we can close this up. So you can see that we have created this animation so far. Now, if you want this, then it's completely up to you. But if you want to have a disintegration effect, then you can just play around with the force field. So let's open this up. So you can see that we have two force field. One is over here and the other one is over here. You can have the disintegration from whatever side you want. So you can have one acting from this side and one from this side. If you want, then you have to play around with both the forces. But in this one, I'm going to just play around with this one force. So you can see that this force has radius zero. So that means this is not affecting. And I'm going to just play with this force one. So let's play with a couple of these settings. First, I'm going to change its position. So I'm going to set it over here and let's increase the radius a little bit. So now if I play back here, you can see that now our particles are moving to this direction. And if I place this over here and now if I play back, now you can see that our particles are moving to the top. So you can change the direction of your disintegration just by moving this position property. Now we can control how much we want this to be disintegrated uh, based upon the radius. So in order to do that, I'm going to just move it over here and let's add a keyframe for radius and I'm going to set this to zero. Now you can select this, press CU and we can just go to somewhere around one and a half or two seconds. Now you can just increase the radius till you see everything is gone. So something like this. So now if I play back here, you can see that we have the disintegration effect. Now you can see that we have other options as well for strength. Now, if you increase this quite a bit, something like this, you can see that our disintegration will be very fast and our particles will move away really quickly. So I'm going to just set this to something like five. Now, if you want this to be fast, then you can just move these keyframes closer, something like this. Now this will be very quick just like this. But for this one, I'm going to just leave it at somewhere around two. You can also go under physics and you can see that we have randomness. Now you can increase this to have particles flying here and there. 
something like this now you can see that particles are flying all over now if i set this to something like zero you can see that the particles will stick together something like this so it's completely up to you, you can just select whatever value you want i'm going to just load this down to something like 0.2 maybe yeah i think this is looking fine so here you can see we have the disintegration effect. Now the best thing about this is that you can place anything inside this composition. You can have a logo as well. So if I place this logo and let me just quickly scale this down. Let's disable this displace text. And if I go back, here you can see we have the logo and we have the disintegration effect just like this. Now, if you want to have a color changing effect as well inside this, so as shown in this example, then you can do this. So we have this text, so I'm going to just duplicate this and I'm going to select the bottom one and I'm going to apply fill on top of this. So let's select and let's trap the fill. And on the top layer, I'm going to apply an effect called linear wipe. So let's select this and drag it onto this. So now we can control the transition by using this transition completion something like this so we are going to add a keyframe for this so let's add a keyframe at zero and now i'm going to just move it to where we have this somewhere around two so let's move it over here and i'm going to set this to 100. now you can see that we have this color changing and also i'm going to add a little bit of feather something like this now we can go back and now you can see that as our particles will disintegrate they will change their color so this is how you can create these kind of really cool animations. So I hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial are available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.